For today's melt, I'm gonna pour a 10 ounce, three nines fine silver bar. Now I've got a whole bunch of buffalo rounds here, just over 10 and a half ounces in case I lose anything. I'm gonna be using a 10 ounce mold for this and I hope that this three nines fine comes out pretty shiny. I might add a slight bit of borax to the mixture only because there's some tarnishing and some finger oils and things from handling over the years. But I've already got a hot devil forge there because I just did a copper melt, which you guys will see in a little bit. So let me go ahead and get these added in there and I'll give you a look. Bye bye buffalo rounds. Now it's already hot, so I just gotta turn the gas on a little bit. And we'll let that go for about 10 minutes. I'll be back. Pretty nice silver bar. Obviously, it's got a few imperfections, happens, and the top will clean up very easily because the tumbler will remove pretty much all of that. I'll probably throw this in the tumbler for literally only like 30 minutes and it will be bright clean. Now, I don't want to use a wire brush or anything on this one because I don't want to scratch it. I could have done a better job on tapping the dish to get more of the ripples, but it's okay. I'm happy with it overall. Next step is going to be to tumble it, and then I may stamp it with the weight as well as my RFT logo. But I think it came out pretty good. For my next melt, we're gonna be doing a copper melt. I've got 10 ounces in there. I needed to switch crucibles because this one's reserved for my copper, my aluminum, and my brass and anything like that. My other crucible is only silver. Now that we've done that, I've got to close the lid on this and get it fired up.
it was right here that I decided to not use the small round and pour the big one. That was a mistake. The infamous short pour. Who knows what it'll look like. I was gonna use it on the smaller round. Thought maybe I had enough. Should've used it on the smaller round. But, we've done these before. And they never come out too bad. It's a little lopsided, but still a pretty cool pour, nonetheless. All right, let's get these pours upstairs. I'm gonna stop there. I've ran out of daylight. The daytime has become nighttime. So I've got to clean up the mess and I'll bring you upstairs to take a look at the pours. So here are the bars and rounds before polishing. You can see the silver one. Obviously it's not pretty yet, but it should come out really pretty once we go ahead and uh, get it polished up. We'll be using a rock tumbler for all of these. The copper ones came out pretty nice. They're not gonna freshen up too much more, but it'll soften up some of the uh, grime and dirt that are on them and make them look a little bit more clean, if you will. Let me go ahead and get my rock tumbler set up. You guys have seen it in previous videos. Of course, I'll have a link to the tumbling mix, the shine bright and the tumbler down below, but I'm not gonna waste your time on showing me set that up. But let me go ahead and get the silver tumble first and then we'll do the copper one second. Once the silver one's done in about 30, 45 minutes, I'll bring you back. We'll take a look at that one and then we'll check out the copper ones when they're done second. So it's been tumbling for about 45 minutes and you can see it's cleaned up quite a bit. Obviously it does still have a little gunk on it and the pour is not the best. But I think what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and weigh it up, see what it weighs. And in Troy ounces, 10.72, so a little bit heavy. I knew we had some extra, we had that 20 gram bar with it. So I'm just gonna put it back in the tumbler, but I think what I wanna do is actually try to stamp my RFT logo up here and put the weight here and the three nines fine. See if I can put the weight where that is and kinda block that up a little bit. I don't know how well I'm gonna punch, it's been a while since I've done punching, but 10.7, Two Troy ounces is a pretty beefy pour. Pray that the stamping goes well, and I'll bring you back with this stamped as well as the copper ones. So I went ahead and stamped it. I'm gonna throw it back in the tumbler just to clean it up a little bit more. The stamping didn't come out too bad. Not too bad, 10.7 ounces, three nines fine silver. I put the three nines fine silver a little bit crooked. I thought it was square, but it wasn't. That's why I should use tape before I ever stamp. And because of the inconsistencies on the top, it being different levels, if you will, there's some raised elements. I did get a little bit of my stamping rim right there. And then of course the one stamped a little heavy because of the raised element there. And then so did the seven. So a few of the higher spots did have a few imperfections from stamping. But at the end of the day, it's my first 10 plus silver bar pour 10.72 ounces, but we just called it 10.7. Why put the point two there? And uh, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Could have had more ripples. Could have stamped it maybe a little bit less hard right here, knowing that it was a little bit raised. You can feel when you put the stamp down, you can feel the raised elements. But whenever I've tried to overcompensate for that, we've had a bad stamping, and then I have to reset the stamp and hope that I don't have it as a doubled die, if you will. <laughs> anyway... Bar 001 for 10 ounce plus pours, I'm pretty happy. Like I said, I'll throw it back in the tumbler. The copper ones are still tumbling right now. I'll get those out here in a minute, and then I'll throw this back in, and then we'll give you a full roundup of all of today's pours, and hopefully you guys enjoyed them. Well, we are back in the room. I have all of the bars and rounds tumbled. I'll start with this one, the two shooter. I always struggle the very first time I use the mold and getting a full pour, but it seems like the more I use the mold at one sitting, the pours get a little more consistent. Either way, pretty nice. Again, these were only in the tumbler for about 45 minutes. That's the first one. 
Looks really good. This is a hobo buffalo nickel with the skeleton design. Pretty cool, nice little button. We'll have to see how much all these weigh. And then the light pour, we've done it before. They come out pretty cool. And as you can see, the design where the pour was is a lot more consistent than the first pour. Maybe I need to heat the molds up a little bit more. Who knows? Either way, happy with the copper rounds. Let me go ahead and wipe the copper ones and we'll see how much weight we have between the three. So we have the scale set to troy ounces. We'll start with the light pour first. Just about three troy ounces. That's cool. How about the hobo button? 2.64 troy ounces. And the big skeleton two shooter. 5.87, almost six ounces. Can't get mad at that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this metal pouring video today. I know I don't do many of them, but I do plan on doing some more mixed in throughout my coin roll hunts and other treasure seeking adventures throughout the rest of the year. If you did enjoy this metal pouring video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.